everybody, it's Anna. Time for our final card in this week's tarot story. So we close this week with the Knight of Cups reversed. Our second night, our second reverse night of the week. So as I said for the Wednesday card, which was Knight of Wands reversed, knights are action takers. They're the ones making things happen in the world. And they're actually the masculine energy because um, the masculine energy is the part of us that does stuff, makes things happen, right? And cups are connected to the heart. We had the three of cups on Tuesday. So we've got a second cup and they're about like following your heart, feeling emotionally fulfilled and connected with others. So I consider this night to be the lover night. He's walking his, 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 the other, there's the, the night of swords and wands. The, the horse is like all reared up and excited. This, this, this horse is just gently walking, you know, very calmly. And the knight's holding his cup in front of him like he's bringing his heart to the world. He's wearing his heart on his sleeve. So his action steps in the world are about being loving. They're about writing poetry, expressing his heart, finding beauty, evoking beauty, looking for love and connection. So this is someone who will write songs and create art and plant flowers and all those kinds of things because he is in love with love. He's in love in general, right? So it's the heart in love and the heart tends to flow in love, right? It's only because we've decided that's not safe that we shut the heart down. So when the Knight of Cups shows up, at any rate, I always think it's about like recognizing where we're not allowing the heart to move in the world the way it wants and helping to release that, right? This came to us reversed. And that suggests to me, well, it could suggest a couple things. One thing it could suggest is we are guarding our heart. We're not allowing ourselves to do what we're, we feel called to do. We're not allowing ourselves to be loving. We're stopping ourselves short from being loving in the world. And I think that could come from the conversation we've had around old stories the mind has. And we had the ace of swords yesterday. So that's where, you know, um, we're asking the mind to try to learn something new. And part of what we want the mind to learn usually is to let go of old tools or old stories that are trying to help us survive especially if we're not trying to survive anymore. That's not our primary goal is not to be safe. Our primary goal is to expand and be creative in the world, which means we're into expansion, not survival. So these old tools the mind has, which are about survival, don't match us any longer. So the Ace of Swords from yesterday I suggested is we're asking the mind to start on a new quest to not try to help us survive, but to partner with the intuition in expansion, right? And that's what the Knight of Cups is about. The Knight of Cups is a very expansive energy. It's about, again, wearing your heart on your sleeve, being in the world sort of unarmed, naked and unarmed. I've used that phrase so many times lately, naked and unarmed. Um, the reversal could say that the mind's a little nervous about this. Fair, right? We're asking the mind to begin something new and it's a little nervous. The other way, so maybe we're not ready to go into the world singing our songs and writing our poetry yet. But another way to read this, let's say we're not ready to do that. The reversal could also say we're going to become our own beloved, which means we write ourselves poetry. We write ourselves song. We pick flowers for ourselves. So think about, we're not quite ready to go into the world all the way, but if we are able to, to offer that love to ourselves and to really celebrate ourselves and really because I think of romance as really being about, um, you know, thinking through like, what would make this person happy? So asking the question, what would make me feel love? What would make me feel happy? What would make me feel like yummy and delicious in the world? Even asking that question is us engaging the Knight of Cups for ourselves. We want to feel connected to ourselves. And I think this is really a lovely way to bookend the tarot story because we started with the Three of Cups, which is about letting others celebrate us and give us momentum and, and, and get excited and support our heart, right? But we want to do the same thing for ourselves really take some time to deliberately ask what makes me feel loved what can I do for myself to feel loved and you know that's a question you almost have to intentionally ask ourselves we're not really taught how to do that maybe when we're very little we do it naturally but as we get older we kind of lose this skill so I think it's very valid that if you're not ready to to offer your love to others which is you know because because the mind's not ready to let down that guard yet you can learn how to do it for yourself. And actually, I think that's probably the first place you start anyway. So the mind's going to be less nervous about you picking yourself flowers than, than you going into the world and handing out random flowers to other people. Although the mind will probably fight this a little bit. So notice where your mind puts up a protest around this. This is just you loving yourself. And so there's no danger here. But I bet you if your mind has certain stories in its head, it will have a protest even for this. So that's a good way to start to, sh to examine where the mind has its old stories, its old tools and beginning to push a little on, on the mind's 
the mind's ideas. Um, because yesterday was the Ace of Swords, the mind is starting something new. We want the mind to become aware. Like, why is it scary for me to pick flowers for myself? Why is that weird? Why is that strange? That's a nice place to begin this examination with the mind's beginning of a new piece of work. So that's our final card. See you next time. Bye.